back uh, in between episodes. Uh, I got the deck down to um, 69 cards. Giggity. <laughs> no, uh, no, but I did, I did slim it down a little bit. Um, like, uh, ultimately, the problem is, like, uh, obviously I want to slim it down some more, but, uh, there are just some certain key machines, which, and I'm sure Cyber Dragon, like, Cyber Dragon has to be in this deck, bro. I mean, Zane's and I mean, if you, if you look at the, like, for example, if you take a look at the mail screen, we have an unknown person here, that's gotta be Zane, right? And, like, Zane is a core part of, uh, GX, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, so, in fact, like, I'm not sure what I have to do to trigger Zane arriving. But, uh, we've been playing this game a while, and still no Zane, still no Zane. Uh, that's in Zane, uh, but, uh, no, I'm kidding. You look like you really want to do duel. You want to set up on my lesson plan? Coolly cool. Let's do it, guys. Okay, maybe I'll take off the kitty gloves. Okay. Coolly cool. Yeah, uh, but mainly, until we do find Zane, uh, I think we're going to just take on Chaz as much as possible, so if you guys like seeing the Chaz, you'll enjoy the next few episodes. What do we got here? Ooh! 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 Summon Giant Rack and attack mode. Hmm. I am my turn, Teach. Let's see what you get. Remember the first rule of dueling. Have fun. All right. Uh, I've always liked Professor Fontaine. She's a very, you know, positive person, so... Oh, she didn't attack. Okay. Um... Honestly, I kind of wish she would have attacked. Then I could have floated into a machine card. Um, should I go for it? Well, yeah, ultimately that's what the deck's all about. So let's bait the magic jammer with. Let's just try to giant tree nade. Oh, it's gonna work. Wow. Okay, let's go for it, guys. So we're gonna steamroid. Uh huh. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna rush recklessly on steamroid. Uh huh. We're gonna. Do I really want a card destruction for one card? Maybe. We're gonna limit our removal. Okay, so he's up to five thousand. I'll be disciplined. I'll save Morphing Jar in case this doesn't work out for some reason. This is going to be a pretty big hit, though, assuming it goes through. Oh my god. It's Harpy Lady 2 with the 1400 defense. Well, well, I uh, kind of wasted my opportunity there. Uh, darn it. Okay, I have my turn. <laughs> I was hoping we get a nice hit of uh, 5,000 there, but uh, obviously that didn't work out. It must be exciting for you to see the cards in your teacher's deck. I'll let you see another one. Rachel Charity. Wow. Hmm. Yay! I summon Birdface in attack position. Man, I wish you had done this first turn, Teach. Keep your eyes on the ball or else you're getting hurt. I attack Giant Rat. Alright. Alright, Teach. Yeah, yeah. Let's summon... Yeah, I cut Bugroth down to one, by the way. Let's summon Exile Force here. Uh, this thing does have an effect to float, so... I don't feel too bad popping it. Time for you to pop it up! Wait, didn't you set two face-down cards last time? Uh... Oh, you discarded them! Thank you, uh, Teach! I activate Exile Force by tributing this monster. I can destroy one of yours. Now... Now I'll special summon a monster. By banishing an earth monster, like a giant rat, I can bring out Gigantus. I'm sorry, Gigantus. All right, Gigantus, show, teach what you got with your earth punch. Are you ready to sweat in a game attack? All right, teacher's got some interesting strategies. 
graceful charity, discard mirror force, save negate attack. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's all coming together, man. <laughs> Alright, let me quit hating. Uh, let's set two cards and end the turn. <laughs> Thankfully, we've got Morphing Jar to recover. I know I went all out in that first timer, but it's time for you to pump it up. Yeah. Uh, let's play this face down. Okay. And teach, I'm gonna play a new monster for you. Yeah, a Morphing Jar! This will get rid of our hands and let us draw a brand new hand of five cards. Ooh, tribute to the boom is nice. All right, Teach, I'll let you see one of my cards. I activate tribute to the boom. I don't want to deal with whatever space down there. So by discarding turtle, I can get rid of your face down monster. What was it? A uh, normal monster, harpy lady, I'm guessing. Harpy girl. Oh man. I feel like I wasted that now. Uh, we'll set Rising Energy, and then, uh, hmm. I could get to a good Equip card here. Uh, yeah, because I don't want a Mobius until she has some base downs. Alright, Teach, get ready. Gigantis, attack her life points directly with your Mega Punch. Very good. Morphing Jar, direct attack, let's go. And I feel in a lot better shape since uh, Morphing Jar recovered our, the cards in our hand. Right. It must be exciting. I'll also let you see another one. Snatch Deal. Oh, that's... That's annoying, Teach. That is annoying. Alright, go ahead. Go ahead. Alright. Yay! I summon Rock from the Valley of Haze. What? Oh, I'm surprised she has this card. Hmm. Yeah, this card is pretty good, though. Uh... Yeah, go ahead. Uh-huh. Attacking my Morphing Jar, huh? Keep your eyes on the ball or you'll get hurt. I attack Morphing Jar. It's fine. It's fine. We've got Mobius. Huh. Speaking of Snatch Steel, I could steal your rock from the Valley of Haze, Teach. To pump it up. Yeah. Steamroid, hey. Alright. Let's uh Okay. I flip over my Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. With its effects, I can search for an equip card and add it to my hand. I think I'll take. Let's take premature barrier. Alright, Teach. Now get ready, because I'm going to sacrifice for a monster of my own. I tribute Kotetsu for Mobius, the Frost Monarch. And he's about to ice over that face down and turn it stone cold. Because when he's summoned, well then, I can destroy up to two spells and traps. Frost Glacier Freeze. Your negate attack's gone. But that's not all, Teach. Remember that card I searched for? It's back. Premature Burial. And now I'll activate it, and I'll grab a certain monster that I've sent to the graveyard this duel. Exile Force, return! Alright. And now, I'm gonna use its effect again, Teach. So I'll tribute Exile Force to destroy any monster on the field like your rock. Alright. Now, let's attack! Go, Mobius! Frost Glacier Freeze! Turn her life point stone cold. Alright, I am my turn. Alright, we got the music. rid of this monster, it's back. So, I'll banish one Higantes to summon another one. Next, I got Steamroid. Alright. Ooh, and we got Fairy Meteor Crush. I forgot we had this card. Next, I'll equip Fairy Meteor Crush onto my Steamroid. Because whenever it gets a trucking, well then, I can boost its attack points by 500. Go, Steamroid. Steamroll her life points. 
position to let my guard down. Oh man, I avoided extra damage. That's my mistake, guys. I forgot we had rising energy. Um, I should have kept Higantus in my hand. Uh, that way I could have boosted by another 1500, but it's okay. Way to go, Flood. Thanks, Teach. All right. And 384, not bad. Coolie cool. She said the line, guys. Yeah, coolie cool. Tomorrow Sunday. All right, well, let's just save here. For time duels another time because uh, we still got yeah, about 15 or 16 minutes in this episode so let's go to sleep sunday where should i go today let's see if chaz is available uh the chaz i'm sorry dimitri we haven't dueled him in a while um actually would have we dueled uh alexis at this point i don't know but uh like i said we're mainly gonna go for chaz here let me do a jump like you. I'm Chaz Princeton. Let's do it. Come on, Flood. All right, Chaz. Chazzy boy. Chaz ball. I'm just kidding. You can't make fun of the Chaz. Or can you? Because I just did. Duel. All right. Turtle. Ooh, Rota. Good. Morphing jar. Uh, hmm. This hands. I honestly don't mind too much getting rid of this hand. So let's set Morphing Jar. And uh, we've got a Revival card. And yeah, we've got a couple cards. All right, Chaz, go ahead. I'll set three cards and in my turn. <sighs> I hope you're ready for your worst nightmare. I draw. We got Chaz. Zombie Tiger. Oh, man. I'm really wetting my pants now. It's Zombie Tiger. Get a Morphing Jar. Discard our hands and give us a fresh one. Ooh, a lot more machines I drew this time. Why don't you just lose already? I'll make sure you won't survive the next turn. Oh, oh really? You're gonna finish me off in a total of four turns, Chaz, huh? We'll see about that. Okay, let's bait the magic jammer. Kill reinforcements of the army. <laughs> I knew it. You're just wasting your cards. Magic jammer. Yeah, yeah, Chaz. I knew you had a magic jammer. All right, let's see what, uh, I made him discard with Morphing Jar. Uh, Robin Zombie, Dark Factory, uh, another magic jammer, seven tools? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get rid of all of that, buddy. Oh, wow, he had two magic jammers, okay. Um, well, we've got plenty of machines in our hand. Let's go for Graceful Charity and hope we draw a limiter removal. Graceful Charity, I can draw three cards and discard two, Chaz. Um, doesn't look like we got it. So we'll just we'll just play this out kind of as a normal duel. Since we didn't get the uh the limit removal. Uh let's discard here. I'll discard Boganingen. And what else should I discard? Droid. Let's discard Kotetsu. Sure, sure. Aside. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, what all is in the graveyard? Because I've got premature burial. I could revive a UFO turtle. Oh, and then crash. Hmm, that honestly sounds kind of good. If we had limit removal, we'd be set here. Wow. Um, okay, we'll go with Mechanical Chaser. Uh -huh. Now, get ready for this, Chaz. I play Premature Burial. So by paying 800, I'll revive a monster in my graveyard. UFO Turtle, come on out. Nope, no chain. Okay. And I'll set one of these. Okay. And then we will... Okay, let's get to attacking. UFO Turtle, go defeat that zombie tiger. Nope. Nope. All right, and now we get UFO Turtle's effects. Whoops. I thought that was asking me for that. Uh, nope. Will you chain? No. Special summon a monster, yes. Okay, here we go. I'll 
summon another UFO turtle, Chaz. Oh man, yeah, if we had limiter removal, that'd be game over, bro. Because <laughs> then I could, uh, uh, rush recklessly and limiter removal both these machines. The good part about this deck that I'm liking so far, we're seeing the machines, which is what we want, and we're seeing like some of the boost cards, like Rush Recklessly and Rising Energy. I really just need to see the limiter removals more often, and I think we'll be in good shape. I wish there was a way to search them, but I mean, this is old school, not really. My spell card, Heavy Storm, will send you running home to Mommy. Oh, really, Chaz? Well, did you expect this? Reveal your face down. Go, rush recklessly. This increases the attack strength of my UFO turtle by 700 points this turn. What do you think about that, Chaz? Hard destruction. Hmm, maybe it'll give me a limiter removal. Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, she just lives already. Yeah, yeah. All right, Chaz. Uh, I reveal my face down. Robin zombie. Push y'all. Okay. Wow, we still didn't get it. We still didn't get uh, uh, limit removal. That's crazy. And we got our deck down to 48 cards. Yeah, we got 14 cards in the graveyard. That's crazy. That's just really bad luck, I feel. Um, okay, well, let's... Uh, I think we win, right? Winning. Uh, Steamroid. We'll just attack with everything. GG, Chaz. Uh, did we do this in five turns? Yeah, because he didn't summon any monsters, did he? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. UFO turtle, go! Rapid spin attack! Did we do this in five turns? I think we did. I think we did. Good! Wow, I got it in five turns even without limiter removal. This man can't win! Oh, yes, I can, Chaz. Game over. That makes me feel good. Nice, 632. Yeah, times two. Nice, we did it without limiter removal. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hey, Liz, I'll get you next time, bud. You better leave it. What in the world? You have mail. Ooh, good, good, good. Flat, flat, flat. I have to warn you, don't challenge anyone in Obelisk Blue. Dr. Crowler gets really upset if you beat anyone in that dorm. If you keep meeting the students in Obelisk Blue, he might want to get revenge. Oh, maybe us beating Chaz. I think we've only beat him like three times, but maybe us beating him three times has triggered an event for next time? Let's hope so. Ah, good. Uh, by the way, thanks for the warning, Cyrus. I appreciate it. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, well, and, and, does, and, and you, you guys know how it is in a video game, right? When someone tells you don't do something like, oh, yeah, don't do this, you know, don't enter this house, don't go challenge that really powerful monster, what do you do? You just do it anyway, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're just going to duel, keep uh, dueling and defeating Chaz anyway. Um, here he is. Let's duel them. Not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the Chaz. All right, Chaz, let's do it. Oh, oh, you're the one who's getting humiliated here, Chaz. Uh, oh, we missed. Okay. All right, so we go second. Uh, if I had Cyber Dragons, I would prefer to go second, but I don't. This guy loves to play a lot of face downs. Ooh, he got to this good. Uh, he didn't chain anything, so I guess no Robin, uh, Goblin, or whatever. Uh, let's bait the Magic Jammer. Gaia Power. Ah, uh, predictable, Chaz. You're just wasting your cards. I reveal my face down card, Magic Jammer. Uh -huh. I didn't even have any Earth Monsters, Chaz. I mean, you probably should have left that up. Because you play, like, Zombie Tiger and stuff, right? Penguin Soldier. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This guy's packing penguins. Um, let's bait the second Magic Jammer. I activate Mystical Space Typhoon, Chaz, and now I'll destroy this card. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Uh, yeah, you're the one wasting your cards, buddy. I was going to destroy that card anyway. So, you should have just saved your heavy storm. Oh my god. Whew. Thanks, Chaz. Okay. Uh, let's set Blast Sphere for its effect. And, oops, oops, nope, nope, nope. Let's just end the turn. We got some good removal in this duel. Blast Sphere, Smashing Ground. Yeah. 
Oh, he's not even attacking. This guy's a coward. Um, well, unfortunately, I don't really have much going on either. Um, I guess I'll leave Rising Energy in hand. Uh, this doesn't boost uh, defense points, does it? Uh, details. No, no, no. I didn't think so. Um, go ahead, Chaz. Uh, maybe I should attack. He's only got one monster, so... Yeah, she in attack mode. Okay. I mean, oh, it was New Doria the whole time. And now you're competent to attack. Odd. Odd, Chaz. Alright. I mean, I wish we could have used that effect on uh, Kionchi, but it's okay. Uh, I'm Star Goblin. Well, he doesn't have a magic jammer. Well, he doesn't have cards in hand, so he can't use magic jammer. Ooh. Smashing ground will take out Kionchi, so I'm gonna do this while I know he can't magic hammer. So there we go. Bye bye, Master Kionchi. And we'll keep uh, this in hand for Lightning Vortex in case he gets like two or three monsters on board. Alright. Now, Chaz, my Blast Spear is gonna use its effects. Your monster is destroyed, and you take damage equal to its attack points. Limiter removal? Okay. Let's just end the turn. Neither one of us are drawing monsters. Well, okay, let's, uh, while the board's empty, let's bait his trap holes in Torrential. Ready? Oh. Oh, okay, okay, there it is. I remember my base out card trap hole. Yeah, yeah. I kind of saw that coming. Um, nope, don't change anything. Well, thanks, Chaz. Since you dumped an earth monster in the graveyard, well then, I can banish that earth monster. The special summon he got us. Now, the funny thing is, he's got two traps. Huh. Should I attack to force him to use the traps, or should I just set Higantus in defense mode and wait for the AI to be dumb enough to attack it? It's an interesting decision at this point. Let's put it in defense mode. Yeah, and I'm not going to send anything. Uh, your move, Chaz. Your move. See if you're dumb enough to attack it. Ah, uh, you're just adding fuel to the fire, buddy. You're wasting your cards. I reveal my face out, Robin Zombie. Alright, alright. Hmm. Yeah, I'm liking that idea. Let's just end the turn. Let's wait till he clears his own back row, and then we'll get in there. Because this duel's already made it to 13 turns, so. Clown Zombie. Good, good, good. That's just strong enough. Go, Clown Zombie, turn that Wimpy and Gigantus to shreds. That's what I wanted you to do, Chaz. Because you see, when my Gigantus is destroyed in battle, well then, all spells and traps on the field are wiped off the board with this giant Earth Crusher ability. Magic German Trap Hole. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. All right, and all you get is Clown Zombie, huh? Clown Town. All right, Chaz. Get ready, I summon Goblin Attack Force in attack mode. Okay, now we'll set this. Yeah. And should I set the second one? Sure, sure. We're just gonna go for some uh, extra damage in this duel. Go guys, get those clubs and take out that zombie. All right, I think this will be the last duel of this uh, episode. So. I am my turn, Jazz. We've only got two cards in hand. What you got, buddy? Sucker in attack mode. What is that? I don't recognize that card. Oh, that's a good spell card. Well, he's gonna have monsters now, so. So you got Clown Zombie and Master Kyochi back. Okay, Chaz. Okay. Alright, alright. Alright. Yeah, that was actually a good card you played there, Chaz. Hmm, I'm gonna need some monsters myself here. Good news is we still have Lightning Vortex, so, ooh. Ooh, okay. Uh, what does this card do? Oh. Hmm, okay. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll wait until he plays both of his monsters and, uh, Lightning Vortex. Or at least two. I'll wait until he plays at least two. So, Master Kionchi is probably next. Yeah. Okay. Let me do some math here, too. Um, so Kionchi, and we know he has Clown Zombie, 
so okay so we're down to eat this slacker oh man but i'm glad we saw that line at least once what an epic animation for that <laughs> All right, Chaz, and we lose a card. Okay, but it was a spell card, so it's kind of good for us because we need monsters. Um, so we're down to 32. Ooh, good, 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 good. You might have helped me unbreak, Chaz. <laughs> oh, we sent Phil. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Okay, we know he has Clown Zombie left in hand. Um, can I win this turn? some math here oh my god i think i can guys okay let's win this turn all right Chaz, i summon steamroid in attack mode this game's over what what do you mean i've still got six thousand life points oh we'll see about that i equip steamroid with united we stand next i activate rising energy by discarding a card i can boost my monster's points all the way up by 1500 so i'll discard this and pop up Steamroid. Nope. And, want to see me do that again, Chaz? Rising Energy. I'll show you the power of the machine deck. All right. Now I'll increase it by another 1,500. And you ready, Chaz? Battle phase time. Go Steamroid. Wipe that blood sucker off the map. Okay, so let's wait for it. Oh, I have to chain it now. Okay, okay. I thought I could wait for Steamroid's effect first and then chain this, but I don't think so. I think it's the window. Go! Limiter removal! Oh my god! 10,400 points! This whip can't win! Oh, dude, it didn't even have time to transition the music. Did you hear that? <laughs> well, that was fun. 12,550 damage total. Yeah, that's the power of limiter removal. Oh, yeah. Ah! I lost, me lose. I'll get you next time, Fled. Believe it. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Pretty awesome way to end the episode. Okay, so so ultimately, that's what we want. That's what we want in this deck. If we can't um, finish him in, like, you know, uh, five turns or three turns, we want to just, you know, go go for broke there. He didn't have any face downs. You know, just pump up one machine and then limiter removal. GG, GG. So I, I'm, I'm kind of glad I got to show you guys the combo. The combo of rising energy and limiter removal, bro. That that was awesome. That was awesome. We did like 10,000 some odd damage. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. Um, well, with that being done, I, I'm glad I decided to make that deck. Um, honestly, I'm having fun. I'm having fun with this, uh, this game. But uh, I think that's going to be the end of this recording session here. I uh, appreciate you guys for joining me. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, let's see, um, right, yeah, like, everything's caught up, but I think, uh, next one I'm gonna record is, uh, I'm gonna, uh, do some more grinding and, um, you get forbidden memories, uh, I'm gonna probably start s teching some more, uh, cause we're looking for some better cards in that game, so, uh, yeah, look forward to that, um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this time, um, I think in between this recording session and the next one, I will look up some uh, some stuff online. Uh, the, well, or if you guys know, let me know in the comments. But like the main cards I'm looking for are like Mechanical Chaser. That wouldn't be too bad. Like Exed Cannon or White Dragon Head and Z Metal Tank in this game. They gotta be right. Cause those cards came out in Magician Force and like Steamroid stuffs in this game. So why wouldn't you know X Y Z Dragon Cannon? That wouldn't be too bad. Um, yeah, yeah, and in fact, like, Formation Union can special summon, so yeah, honestly, the XYZ pieces wouldn't be too bad if we can get two Formation Unions, so, yeah, um, if you guys know, like, which packs the, uh, Alphabet Soup cards come in, X Head Cannon, Y Dragon Head, Z Metal Saint, yeah, let me know in the comments, um, also, I'll be looking for, like, Mechanical Chaser, uh, Cannon Soldier, Basically, good machine Cyber Dragon. I mean, that's gotta be in this game, man. Um, but yeah, those are the kind of machines I'm looking for to really, really, you know, elevate 
the uh, unlimited power of this uh, deck. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys know, let me down below. Uh, uh, know down below. But if I don't see any comments after, you know, uh, five or six days of posting this, then I'll just kind of look at it myself, and uh, we'll go from there. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's the plan. That's the plan. Because I do like how this deck's reforming right now. Um... Like, ultimately, this deck can get us, like, a whole, whole lot of DP. And, um, there are some things I'd like to show in this game. Some different kinds of decks. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, speaking of different kinds of decks, I think next episode, you know, kind of, because I'll probably do some... Yeah, yeah. I'll probably do some episodes in between while I wait for you guys' comments about the machines. Um, but next episode... I'm gonna make like the exchange of spirit deck like right now, like right now after this recording session. And we're gonna try to uh, deck out the opponent with exchange of spirit. I think that could be fun. Cause I wonder if you get a different bonus for decking your opponent out. Like, uh, like hey, who knows, maybe you get like 200 DP for decking your opponent out. And that's worth it, honestly. Um, so yeah, expect like a kind of a, an exchange of spirit deck next episode. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll try to get better machines and, uh, yeah, help the unlimited deck. Okay, so that's what's coming up, guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you all next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tool Academy. Alright. Love you guys. Bye-bye.